It's the all-new Sports Visions with Dale Williams and DJ Jones, your 1980 national champions. 1980 and 81 SEC champions, two damn good dogs. Welcome to the all-new Sports Visions. I'm DJ Jones, joined by my good friend and traveling partner, Dale Williams. How are you, sir? What's up, player? All right, man, I'm fantastic. Man, we are at the office Sports Bar and Grill, 2979 North Lake Parkway. If you want to call up and find out what's going on, call 706-221-1822. And Dale, uh, you know, we had an opportunity to take our Sports Vision show on the road. That's right. On the road with Sports Vision, presented by Headquarters Nissan. Went to Athens, Georgia this week, DJ. See the Bulldogs beat South Carolina. And uh, coming up in just a little bit, we'll not only have an opportunity to talk a little bit about the game and all the happenings that went on this past weekend, we got a treat for you. Jordan Hill is here from The Ledger, The Ledger Inquirer's prep sports writer, and going to give you some insight on some of the uh, best players around the area, some of the offers, and, and some of the playoff teams that we look to go into uh, far into the high school football plays, playoffs. All that and a whole lot more coming up next on Sports Fishes. Every remaining 2017 Nissan must go at Headquarter Nissan. Over 400 left, and they're all priced to sell. Drive a new Rogue for just $19,800. $19,800. Drive a new Ultima for just $17,540. $17,540. That's right, a new Rogue just $19,800. A new Ultima just $17,540. And they're all backed by a lifetime warranty. Hurry, because once they're gone, they're gone. Columbus, it's a Nissan town. And welcome back to Sports Visions. We're joined by Ledger Inquirer's high school reporter, Jordan Hill. Welcome to the show, Jordan. Dale, uh, great to be back with you guys. Uh, always a pleasure to sit in and talk a little high school uh, sports with y'all. All right, we'll get right to it, Jordan. It's a lot of teams in this area that made it to the playoffs, and as we're doing this show, you know, we don't know what the results will be, but talk to us about the teams that really, you think really have a good chance of making it far into the to the playoffs and win a state championship. You know, looking around, uh, it, it's going to be a tough uh, road for a lot of these teams. A lot of them have to play on the road. Two teams that really stand out to me that have a really good shot is Central over in Phoenix City. Uh, the Red Devils are loaded with talent. Justin Ross, five-star uh, receiver. He's made a lot of plays, and, and I think they've got a really good shot to, to go win an, a state title. And then coming back across the line in Georgia, Manchester, uh, there in Class A, I, I really like what they've done. Went through the regular season undefeated. Postseason's a whole different thing, but, <laughs> but like I've, uh, I've said, you know, what I've seen from them, they look like they're capable of uh, really making a run. Okay. You know, when we start talking about scouting and start talking about five-star players, you know, from the 24-7s to the rival.coms of the world, what are some of the kids, some of the top kids in this area that have committed or being are high on these folks' lists? Well, we'll see it kind of pick up, I think, once the postseason stops. Um, you know, we, we talked about Justin Ross. He's a right. guy everybody's looked at. Right. But there are other guys on that central team that have got a lot of attention. Tyler Moore, a linebacker, defensive lineman, he's committed to Kennesaw State. He's a really talented guy. Peter Parrish, who's only a junior, their quarterback, he's starting to get offers. Mississippi State's offered. Virginia's offered. Uh, some of the other guys that, uh, you know, in time, I think will get some real attention. Marco Lee, a running back at Hardaway. He's a senior. Got Western Kentucky starting to look at him. Coastal Carolina. I think once it kind of gets to signing day, he's going to be a guy to watch. And a younger guy, Emmanuel Mann, a junior quarterback at Jordan. He, uh, he's been invited to the U.S. Army uh, Bowl Games Combine for, uh, that'll be in, in uh, early 2018. So he's a guy to look at. He's a guy that Alabama is already looking at. So you say Alabama's looking at a guy, you pretty much don't have to say anything else. That's pretty good. You know, and then the other question that uh, DJ and I, we always get is like, what gives a, a player a five-star rating? How do they get their stars? What, how do they calculate all that? I think the biggest thing is just consistency. When you go to these camps or, you know, when you have an opportunity in these big games, if, you know, if you get the ball in your hands, you've got to show that you can do it consistently. That's like Justin Ross uh, talking to Jamie Dubose, the head coach there at Central. He said he's a guy that didn't go to a lot of camps. He may have went to two camps, and he's a five-star guy, but you see the opportunities he's been given, he's made the most of. And then going through this regular season, his senior year, I mean, he's making one-handed catches. He's making guys miss. I mean, it's just one of those things for a lot of people. It's a matter of the eye test when they see these guys. Is there a consistency that they can 
whatever position they're playing can they make the most of. So that's the thing to me. It's not so much camps and, and, and you know, those types of settings, but it's when you get a chance, how do you handle it? Yeah. Let me ask you this, you know, and uh, as we close this interview, what, who, if you had to pick the Ledger and Choir Player of the Year right now, Give me some uh, top candidates. Uh, well, we talked about Justin Ross. He kind of, uh, you know, he kind of speaks for himself. You see, <laughs> like I said, he, the, right. I watched him in Montgomery a few weeks ago make a one-handed catch on like a 30-yard touchdown. That was just, I mean, it looked like something out of a video game. Wow. Uh, he's a guy that I like a lot. Mar Marco Lee, again, a guy I mentioned at Hardaway. Give the guy 30, 35 carries a game, and he's just running over people. Very fun guy to watch. Caleb Johnson, a linebacker at Northside. He's been all over the place. Uh, he's a guy Tennessee's been looking at. I believe Georgia has also offered him. Uh, there's a lot of guys to really consider in this area, and it's a good problem to have for me. you got a lot of talent to watch. you just kind of got to figure out who uh, who's at the top. All right. There you have it. Jordan Hill, Legend Inquires High School football reporter. We'll be right back. Hello, everybody. You, you know what I'm saying? Get off the couch. But I'm here with my man Darryl Bird here. First of all, before I start talking about car, Darryl Bird want to talk about the Dallas Cowboys. Hey. Number one team in the NFL. The record don't say it, but the play show. Okay, I guess that's good enough. <laughs> hey, listen, you guys got to get out the couch. We got several cars here. We usually have a pick of the week. We're talking about pre-owned right now. I got Ford, Chevrolet, Toyotas. We got it all here. You got to come to headquarters, Nissan. You got to ask for Darrell because Darrell got this promotion going on right now. When you walk in there, you got to say, I'm looking for Darrell Bird because I'm ready to purchase one of these vehicles and we're going to hook you up. Give me a lifetime oil change. You get five hundred dollars off on the on the used car. And look at Terry. And we got Terry Bear oh, coming over here with the Star that. Wars uh, helmet right now. Star Wars, <laughs> the Last Jedi. You the Last Jedi? Uh, I don't know about that. Nissan but listen, sponsoring it again, the Last Jedi. Mm, what I was telling about with you. Is he talking the, about the Cowboys? Yeah, he, he was talking about the Cowboys. We're talking Brief. about the pick of the weeks now. We talking about we got Chevrolet, we got Ford, we got the Dodge. Pick of the week. Y'all gotta come out here to headquarters, Nissan. We're gonna hook you up. Get off the couch. I saw a guy this morning. He wanted to know where you were. Yeah, I know. That he was a get-up car He told me to get out the couch and he bought a car this morning. And the reason I have this, The Last Jedi comes out November 15th. Nissan sponsoring the whole movie again. So we're going to be all Star Wars. That's Mas awesome. Master the event. Do we have to put that on? Now, somebody wore this at my Halloween party. I don't know if it would fit. No, I don't think it will fit. No, I don't think it'll fit. It's, what do y'all think? Let no. me know if James We're going to go ahead and wrap it up now. you got to get off the couch. Come to headquarters, Nissan. Darryl Burry, Darryl Bell. Look forward to seeing you. And welcome back to Sports Visions, Dale. It's now time for us to talk college football and the number one team in the country, according to the Associated Press, uh, Alabama. Uh, had a tough time with LSU over in Tuscaloosa. Well, you know, 24-10 victory, you know, easily win won, you know, by Alabama. You know, LSU, again, don't have a lot of uh, firepower on offense, DJ. And uh, Nick and his boys were able to take care of them. 24-10, that's kind of low for them, but... Again, they're still number one. Still number one, but again, uh, you know, the college football rankings uh, have Georgia ranked on top of Alabama. However, Mississippi State, believe it or not, they're still in the top 25. And I know that they don't seem like they should be, uh, <laughs> I don't know, but Dan Mullen has those guys still playing. And right now, again, you know, you can't overlook Mississippi State. You can't overlook Mississippi State. They're still a respectable team, DJ. And like you said, they're still in the top 25. They play some tough games. And anytime you can come out of the West, and you still rank, that means you're playing pretty good football. Absolutely. Now, again, when you talk about what the University of Georgia has done, obviously, you know, we were worried about them dealing with this newfound success, being ranked number one by the college football uh, rankings and, and, and the people that are do the uh, playoffs. You know, I think that, they, you know, you could call it a hangover, but at the same time, South Carolina came into play. They did. They came into play. They're pretty good. You know, I think, you know, they have a couple of players out for the season, but I think they're going to get continue to get better and better. Will Muschamp got these guys playing like Will Muschamp wants them to play, physical, aggressive, very passionate about what they do. It was a tough game, man, really, and any time you're playing inside your division, DJ, from now on, you know, it's going to be tough. And, you know, when we talk about the quarterback and you talk about what he can't do, I know that a lot of jabs were thrown over the week talking about our quarterback, our young Jacob Fromm, couldn't pass the ball. But, again, he proved, again, to be efficient. I think he completed 16 of 18 passes or so, you know, a couple of hundred yards and a couple of touchdowns. So, you know, when you jam or you're trying to line up and, and, and stop the run, you're forcing Jake from the pass, you're going to find out that this young man can get it done. He can get it done, DJ. And, you know, really the good thing that a lot, a lot of people like like to say is that the efficiency rate that he had is very good. You know, he throws 50-50 balls. You know, really he's a good ball manager, which makes it real good. But really, man, the offense have been 
the best defense for Georgia at this point right now. But when you can run the ball, it takes a whole lot of pressure off your quarterback position. Well, the undefeated 9-0 Georgia Bulldogs will take their show on the road to the world's uh, <laughs> oldest, or at least the South's oldest rivalry down in Auburn. You know what? Auburn and Gus Malzahn, all they've done is just putting themselves in a position. They are number 10 in the country this week. Number 10, DJ, and they've got two losses, you know, really. But they've lost to great teams, Clemson and the LSU game. I think really they are a better, you know, better than a two-loss team, and they still have an opportunity to make a run for the playoff. It's a lot of things that could happen, you know, like this weekend if they go in and do what they want to do, and then the Alabama weekend, we might have some craziness going on around here. But I think. Uh, Gus will have his guys ready to play, and that's going to be an interesting game this weekend, DJ. It's going to be a very interesting game over on the Plains. I know you, you and I are both looking forward to, uh, of course, being there. And uh, when you talk about Auburn and you talk about what they have done to go from point A to point B as far as production, Jarrett Stidham is the name that you can call. First and foremost, we know that Karan Johnson has had a, a very productive season. But Cameron Petway, for whatever reason, he has not been able to get back on the field. And again, until those two guys are able to get in lineup, Johnson and Petway in the backfield with Stedham, I don't think you're going to see the type of Auburn team that you're going to see the best team that they can, they can put on the field. Well, I think really if Auburn's able to run the ball, and that's, best, that's the one big key thing that Georgia's got to do. Georgia's got to get after Auburn's defense. The Stedham piece, you know, for uh, Johnson running the football, they're going to have to play lights out defense. I don't think they did that last week, DJ, because, you know, I told you my theory. I think they just didn't want to show a lot of blitzes and a lot of things that they wanted to do against South Carolina because they were saving it for this week. And, you know, I think they're going to have to get after the quarterback. They're going to have to stop the run. Uh, the defensive line is going to be key. And you're going to have to make some – they're going to have to get some turnovers on defense. All right, let's talk about the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets because, again, uh, they have uh, – you know, it seems like – you know, Taquan has been the show, and uh, again, when you talk about playing uh, the Virginia teams and coming back now and playing Virginia Tech, they had a tough loss to Virginia, but right. they got to play a Virginia Tech team that's very, very capable. Very capable, DJ, and again, you know, you can't take the ball out of Taquan's hand. And then even, you know, if he touched the ball 20-plus times, he's going to get over 100 yards. He's throwing touchdown passes, and he's running for, for yardage. He's right at the 1,000-yard mark, leading Georgia Tech and rushing. But I think, DJ, one of the biggest things is going to happen for is him keeping them covered, keeping them safe. The, defense, the offensive line is going to have to protect upon a whole lot more, not just the run. I mean, not just the pass, but the run the football also. And I think, again, Paul Johnson, he's going to start tweaking. Well, Georgia Tech, uh, one thing about them is that they are both eligible, and I know that uh – Paul Johnson wants to make sure that they are eligible by taking care of Virginia Tech. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at our Chick-fil-A Picks of the Week. All right, DJ, our pick, Chick-fil-A Picks of the Week. All right, we got Alabama will travel to Starksville to play Mississippi State. Auburn will host Georgia over on the Plains. Georgia Tech will host Virginia Tech up in Atlanta. Uh, South Carolina will play Florida down in Gainesville. Michigan State will travel to Columbus, Ohio to play the Ohio State Buckeyes and Clemson against Florida State. Don't forget to email email Dale Williams at Sports Vision USA, your Chick-fil-A Picks of the Week. Hello, everybody. I'm DJ Jones. You might know me from my athletic career at Carver High School at the University of Georgia or my sports broadcasting career. I know a lot of people. But when it comes to an attorney I trust, I call Forrest B. Johnson. I'm Forrest Johnson of Forrest B. Johnson & Associates. I want to let you know how proud we are to be a part of your community, a part of the Columbus community and the Phoenix, Alabama community. Consider us first. When you or any member of your family has been involved in an automobile accident, remember, car wreck, get a check. Call now, 706-223-5380. Call now. Come on out to the Office Sports Bar and Grill. Whether meeting up with friends, colleagues, or family, you will feel right at home. We have live music from local artists, happy hour from 4 to 6 daily, and outstanding daily specials. The Office Sports Bar and Grill is not your typical sports bar. Come eat and drink like a boss. Every remaining 2017 Nissan must go at Headquarter Nissan. Over 400 left, and they're all priced to sell. Drive a new Rogue for just $19,800. $19,800. Drive a new Ultima for just $17,540. $17,540. That's right, a new Rogue just $19,800. A new Ultima just $17,540. And they're all backed by a lifetime warranty. Hurry, because once they're gone, they're gone. Columbus, it's a Nissan town. 
You okay? Oh, 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 what yeah. happened? Dad kind of walked into my swing. Huh? Don't you mean Dad kind of ruined our Hawaii fund? Ah! ah. Mm. I should go to the hospital. There goes the airfare. I don't think health insurance will cover all of that. That's what I said. Without that cash from Affleck, we might have to choose between Hawaii or your face. Hawaii. Huh? Oh, Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> You might have less coverage yeah. than you think. Visit Aflac.com and keep your lifestyle healthy. Aflac! Attention Columbus, Fort Bidding, Phoenix City, and the surrounding areas. Sports Visions Entertainment presents the Party Bus Lifestyle. Take a trip with us. Don't worry about driving. 15, 25, 30 of your sorority sisters, fraternity brothers, family, or friends. Get to travel in luxurious lifestyle in town or out of town visits. Come travel with us and experience the exclusive luxury party bus lifestyle. Call 706-681-1136 or 706-681-5192. Welcome back to Sports Visions. Joining me right now is the University of Georgia sideline reporter, Chuck Dallow. Chuck, how are you? Uh, DJ, I'm great, buddy. Anytime I get an opportunity to be around you, I'm a, it's a good day for me. Well, I tell you what, man, this has been an awesome season, and you right there up close and personal on the sidelines each and every week, undefeated. you got to talk to me about your feelings on this season. Well, i, I got to tell you, I, I felt going into the season that this would be a better team than last year. How that was going to manifest itself in wins and losses, I wasn't sure. I've been pleasantly surprised. I think the growth of that offensive line has been amazing. I think this defense is something that nobody wants to deal with right now. And the best part of this team is their focus and their love for each other. Isn't it amazing what uh, Kirby has been able to do in such a short period of time? Chuck? You know what? I, I think that's a perfect word for it. It's amazing. It's astounding. Uh, he has been able to come in. He's gotten these young men's attention uh, to watch them in the locker room when he starts to speak. They are focused and they hang on every word. And then he's got them buying into these very physical practices where he talks about wanting to make practice so hard that the games seem easy by comparison. And they've all bought into it, and obviously it's paying dividends. The committee came out with their poll or their rankings, and they said Georgia is, is, you know, is over Alabama. Talk to yep. me personally about how you feel about that and how you think that uh, it's going to affect the team's well, psychic. I, yeah, I, I thought that, uh, that, that that's the way it would come out because <laughs> I thought they'd look at – at Georgia's win over Notre Dame and their win over Mississippi State, and I think that Georgia deserves to be where they are. Uh, how it's going to affect this team, I'm not sure that they even know about it. You know how Kirby is, and he has made it clear he didn't want any part of that. No talk about rankings, no talk about uh, how well the team is doing undefeated. Every game's a new game, a different game, and that's the way he wants his team to approach it. And you know what? They're far enough into the season that they've had enough success listening to him. I think that they're listening to him now. All right, Chuck, before I let you go, man, I thought you were retired. But tell those folks out there what all you got going on, man, in broadcasting and whatever. Well, look, it's all with Georgia. I'm doing uh, some football, some basketball, doing the coaches' shows, and then uh, doing a little uh, radio Bulldog Roundtable during the week in Atlanta on Sports Radio on 680 The Fan there. All right, you heard it from my hero, Chuck Dowdle. We'll be right <laughs> back after these messages. Thank you, DJ. This is Daryl Bird, the headquarter Nissan. When Dale and DJ go on the road with Sports Vision, they go on the road with a Nissan vehicle. For all your Nissan vehicle needs, call Daryl, the headquarter Nissan, at 706-304-9681. Hello, everybody. I'm DJ Jones. You might know me from my athletic career at Carver High School at the University of Georgia or my sports broadcasting career. I know a lot of people. But when it comes to an attorney I trust, I call Forrest B. Johnson. I'm Forrest Johnson of Forrest B. Johnson & Associates. I want to let you know how proud we are to be a part of your community, a part of the Columbus community and the Phoenix, Alabama community. Consider us first. When you or any member of your family has been involved in an automobile accident, remember, car wreck, get a check. Call now, 706-223-5380. Call Every remaining 2017 Nissan must go at Headquarter Nissan. Over 400 left, and they're all priced to sell. Drive a new Rogue for just $19,800. $19,800. Drive a new Ultima for just $17,540. $17,540. That's right, a new Rogue just $19,800. A new Ultima just $17,540. And they're all backed by a lifetime warranty. Hurry, because once they're gone, they're gone. Columbus, it's a Nissan town. Attention Columbus, Fort Bidding, Phoenix City, and the surrounding areas. Sports Visions Entertainment presents the Party Bus Lifestyle. Take a trip with us. Don't worry about driving. 15, 25, 
30 of your sorority sisters, fraternity brothers, family, or friends. Get to travel in luxurious lifestyle in town or out of town visits. Come travel with us and experience the exclusive luxury party bus lifestyle. Call 706-681-1136 or 706-681-5192. And welcome back to Sports Vision. It's now time for our Atlanta Falcons report. And, you know, Dale, a couple of weeks ago when the Falcons were going on the road after losing <laughs> to a Miami Dolphin team <clears throat> at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, we were hoping that they could get some momentum on the road. However, this three-game road trip turned into a one-and-two record. You know, of course, getting one win, but losing on the road, more importantly, losing to Carolina last week and uh, falling into third place in the NFC South Division. It's not a good look, DJ, and you got the Cowboys coming in. Uh, it's, it's really, you know, everybody want to jump on the bandwagon and talk about the Super Bowl and all that, but the, the bottom line is the Falcons, the difference between the Falcons this year and last year, that they're not, they don't have any explosive plays. They're not coming up with any big plays. And, you know, I think Matt Ryan is out of sync with his receivers. And they're just not making those explosive plays on both sides of the ball that turns the game around. They, they did a lot. They had a lot of big plays last year. Not, it's hard to get big plays for them this year. Well, one thing for sure that I know from last year is that they are, they, their offense ran or rotated through the run game. The, road, the, the running game dictated the Falcons' outcome. And, again, that set up all the play-action passes and a lot of, of uh, the big plays, uh, like you should say, the explosive plays or play-action to Julio and to right. Sanu and and Taylor Gabrielle, but for whatever reasons, the running game has not been able to materialize like last year. But at the same time, a lot of blame has been placed on uh, Coach Sarkeesian. What Steve Sarkeesian mm -hmm. right. didn't drop the ball in the end zone and didn't <laughs> overthrow the ball on a, to an old wide open receiver. Those that's execution, and the players are just not getting it done. They're not getting it done, DJ. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to say my my own little theory is this: is that I don't think that enough work was put in during the summer, DJ. I remember last year. Matt Ryan's MVP year, he worked out the whole summer. He worked on getting more arm strength. Him and Julio worked out together. The chemistry was there. And you know, DJ, if you're not working out and working on your craft year round, I mean, it's going to show sooner or later. And this year, they have not been on sync with the Julio piece. Sanu, great receiver, but sometimes he disappears in money games and tight situations. They're just not clicking on offense. And I don't, get, I don't, I don't blame Steve Sarkeesian and DJ. I just think it just, they got to get together and work on stuff, whether it's before practice or after practice. You can kind of tell that they're not, they're not in sync. You're right about that, but again, you know, as you remember, Julio didn't have a whole lot of time in the in the preseason because, again, you know, they wanted to keep him healthy. And again, Julio is one of those uh, he's one of those uh, gorillas, man. I mean, he's yeah. a player, but he either makes a big play or he's going to get tweaked. It looked a little gimpy uh, the other day, and uh, you know, he. Uh, but again, he's a tough guy. He's a physical guy. But he's one of those high maintenance guys. He's a high maintenance guy. He's a warrior, DJ. Don't get me wrong. I mean, but I, I think one of the biggest, you know, still you miss some work. Yeah, we want to keep him safe. We want to keep him on the field. But you still got to work on your craft and get that chemistry that he had with Matt Ryan. You know, the Taylor Gabriel piece. They got it. You know, you when you got those kind of weapons on the Falcons offense, DJ, and it's not clicking. You're not getting the big plays this year. You're not making plays that can turn a game around. That's the biggest thing that jumps out with me. And the, on the defensive side of the ball, you got to get off the field on third down. You do have to do that. And, you know, we got the Dallas Cowboys coming into town. Again, you don't know if, if they're going to have uh, Ezekiel Elliott on the team or not, but it doesn't seem to matter because the Cowboys actually didn't know last week until Friday when Ezekiel was cleared and they went out and played their lights out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, again, this, this shows you the signs of a team that's pretty much uh, a disciplined team, but pretty much a, a veteran team, and a team that definitely their offensive line is back. Yeah, I mean, really, DJ, and I think really this da this Dallas Cowboy game, the Falcons game, I think it's going to be an indicator on the rest of the season for the Atlanta Falcons. So this is a big game for the Falcons. I just think from the fan base, from just even being, being, uh, being in a wild card situation, they can't afford to lose any more games. And I think all those divisional games, you got New Orleans running away with the division. This is going to be a pivotal game for the Atlanta Falcons. A couple of other storylines that we want to cover. I know that more importantly, there was a lot of fights this past weekend on the field. And I know that A.J. Green uncharacteristically got into a scuffle. But, you know, when you talk about a veteran like A.J. Green and a professional like that, you know obviously something had to be uh, prodding at him to go off like he, he 
went off. Well, you know, DJ, there's one thing that really uh, you can go from zero to 100 real fast when somebody cheap shot you. And sometimes you forget, you know, it might be 100,000 people watching, but you're not going to take a cheap shot. And you got to stand up, you know, stand your ground on a lot of things. Because one thing is about football, it, people are trying to intimidate you too. You know, so they're going to try to get in your head. But, I, I, you, know, you know, AJ got some bulldog in the two player. <laughs> yes, he does. All right, we're going to take a short break. This is Sports Visions. Every remaining 2017 Nissan must go at Headquarter Nissan. Over 400 left, and they're all priced to sell. Drive a new Rogue for just $19,800. $19,800. Drive a new Ultima for just $17,540. $17,540. That's right, a new Rogue just $19,800. A new Ultima just $17,540. And they're all backed by a lifetime warranty. Hurry, because once they're gone, they're gone. Columbus, it's a Nissan town. Attention Columbus, Fort Bidding, Phoenix City, and the surrounding areas. Sports Visions Entertainment presents the Party Bus Lifestyle. Take a trip with us. Don't worry about driving. 15, 25, 30 of your sorority sisters, fraternity brothers, family, or friends. Get to travel in luxurious lifestyle in town or out of town visits. Come travel with us and experience the exclusive luxury party bus lifestyle. Call 706-681-1136 or 706-681-1136. Six eight one five one nine two. Are you okay? Oh, 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 what yeah. happened? Dad kind of walked into my swing. Uh, Don't you mean Dad kind of ruined our Hawaii fund? Uh, ah! Ooh! I should go to the hospital. There goes the airfare. I don't think health insurance will cover all of that. Uh -huh. Without that cash from Affleck, we might have to choose between Hawaii or your face. Hawaii. Huh? Oh, Hawaii. <laughs> You might have less coverage yeah. than you think. Visit Aflac.com and keep your lifestyle healthy. Aflac! And welcome back to today's final segment of Sports Visions, Dale. It was great to get back to Athens, go on the road, of course, and right. cover. But uh, you know what? Uh, a heck of a game coming up this week over on the Plains. Oh, man, I can't wait to get over there, DJ. I got my eye black ready, you know, my towels ready. I'm ready to play. I think we might have to play. Might have to play a couple of downs, DJ. Absolutely, and I tell you what, uh, it's always great to have Jordan Hill in because he's he gets the you know he has the insight. He's the guy that's, that's right. on the scene. He knows these high school teams, coaches. He knows the players, and uh, he's an asset to the show. He's an asset, and he enhances what we try to talk about. You know, from a high school high school perspective, because there's a lot of high schools, and good luck to all those that are in the playoffs. Absolutely, and I know uh, you know we hadn't had a whole lot to say about the well, NBA, but we do want to keep you up to the Falcon, uh, the uh, Atlanta Hawks. Now the Hawks had a, a stretch there about seven games, eight games that they lost, but they knocked off the Cleveland Cavaliers last week, believe it or not, even though LeBron and the Cleveland Cavaliers are having their issues too. They're having a lot of issues, DJ, but one of the good things about it, we'll be able to visit Phillips Arena, all get all the NBA action along the year. Absolutely, and again, Dale, when you uh, want to congratulate Kirby Smart and the Georgia Bulldogs, number one uh, in the college football rankings, and again, uh, that's according to the college football playoff folks, then the, the committee that mm -hmm. decides what teams will make it in the playoffs. I mean, that's going to be big. And like I said, you got the AP poll, you got the college football playoffs poll. But I think really one of the biggest things, DJ, is too early to tell. And if you want to stay number one, you got to keep winning. All right. Well, that's going to do it for all the sports we have for you today. For Dale Williams, I'm DJ Jones reminding you to keep your eye on the ball. Have a great week. Be sure to check out our Facebook page, Sports Visions TV Show, or our website, www.sportsvisionsusa.com. Every remaining 2017 Nissan must go at Headquarter Nissan. Over 400 left, and they're all priced to sell. Drive a new Titan for just $24,130, and it's backed by a lifetime warranty. Columbus, it's a Nissan town.